thank you for the kind introduction. Hello, Stefan. How are you doing today? <laughs> hello, Thibaut, and hello, Yann. Hi. Very fine. Thank you. So thank you all for, for, uh, for having us today. Uh, as you said, uh, Jan, I think data collaboration is, a, is a absolutely critical today. And so uh, that's why we decided to present you today one case we did uh, between Numberly and SEP Group. So I'm first going to ask Stefan maybe to, uh, to introduce us the, the group SEB. Yeah, maybe a, a, a few seconds to introduce this group, which is uh, maybe uh, less well known than the PepsiCo or so. Um, group SEB is a French group, uh, which weights uh, something like uh, 7 billion euros and was a uh, um, worldwide leader in uh, small domestic appliance and cookware uh, with uh, a large brand portfolio like uh, Roventa, Moulinex, Krups. Uh, VMF and the most famous one, which is a uh, TIFO, uh, which in France is the absolute leader with uh, over than 50 uh, percent market share on the on the cookware, which is the uh, due to the invention of the non-stick cooking coating and the removable uh, handle. So uh, maybe just one more word, which is important since we are in uh, ICOM uh, group said. This is also important to know. It's 30% uh, of its sales which are done uh, on the uh, internet. And 75% uh, of our um, purchase journey which are done uh, in digital. That's the reason why we are quite demanding when it comes to, to uh, digital. And uh, personally, I have a, a dream or an obsession uh, and Thibaut know it. Uh, it's, I'm quite obsessed to, to calculate or to measure the return on investment of uh, all our digital activation. Uh, instead of just having some media KPI, that's really an obsession. And that's the reason why, uh, and I think that's the next slide. Um, I have three questions each time that I come uh, to Numberly or to Thibault. First, can you measure please the impact on sales? Uh, okay. Online, it's easy, but also offline. And this reconnection is really key to us, the, the ROPO effect, uh, but not only the sales, also the incremental sales. So what will happen if I don't invest uh, in media on digital? Uh, and what is the, the gap between the two? And finally, what I want is to reconnect uh, the two, uh, yeah, the, 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 the two worlds, the, the, the media world and the, the, the sales and business world. So all the data we, we have from our media, um, media uh, invest and all the data that the retailers could have uh, um, when they sell our product. So this reconnection and this information are key for us. And actually that was the, the quite demanding brief uh, I gave to, uh, to the team uh, from Thibault. Absolutely. Thank you, Stefan. That was quite challenging, but we definitely loved it. So we uh, decided as a solution to leverage a clean room ecosystem. We used the uh, live ramp uh, safe havens technology, uh, which, uh, which is used by Carrefour. We also combined this with, uh, with the customer data platform uh, powered by Numberly that uh, SEP Group uh, uses. Um, and we connected the two. We also implemented a partnership with three retailers, Amazon, Carrefour, and C-Discount, three of France's biggest online and offline, obviously, retailers. So we used the track box that we designed and, and that we run to, uh, to aggregate retailers' data. And we ran, as you will see, a detailed analysis of attributed, but also incremental estimates um, of, these, of these results. So um, first thing to, to, to clarify here is the journey uh, towards precision marketing that brands have been having over the years. They obviously started with brand lift, trying to optimize brand lift, and this continues. They continued with data lift, trying to acquire data, and this is uh, data, data lift and data marketing. And now we're touching sales lift and precision marketing, where data is no longer a question of owning, but also accessing data. And I think that's, the, that's critical in the vision of, of uh, Group SEB here. And also, uh, as we all know, as Peter Drucker liked to say, what gets measured gets managed. So we try to get actually purchase level data here, transactional data estimates in order to improve that. 
Um, so obviously, number Lee sits as a trusted third party between brands and retailers. And this is exactly what, what we try to do here in that case. So the protocol that we used is really where we um, actually um, uh, bought some uh, media with uh, several DSPs and social ads. We tracked it. We stored everything we could out of these uh, media exposure into uh, SEB Group's uh, customer data platform. We then connected uh, Carrefour's clean room, but also Amazon and C discounts uh, um, actually uh, 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 tracked uh, sales data with with um, with uh, SEB uh, customer data platform. And we connected those two uh, in order, obviously, to measure or estimate the incremental impact. So here, I want to, uh, to clarify one thing. As we know, there are two ways to close the loop. Um, obviously, experimental design is wonderful. Um, so if some of you remember, um, uh, six months ago, we actually won a great award with Danone for an experimental design. So we started back then with Carrefour's data. We onboarded that. So we obviously made a test and a control. This is one and two on the, on the chart here. We onboarding this data. We then bought media uh, on, on those people. And we uh, closed the loop, number five and six here, to actually measure the true incremental impact, the true sales uplift. And this is an experimental design. In that case here, we couldn't do that because we couldn't start with Carrefour's data because SEB groups wanted to actually measure the true sales impact of their general digital media campaigns. So what did we do then? We first started with media, right? So it goes the opposite way and we call it a track box. We started with media, we tracked it, we stored it into our, our CDP or our SEB group CDP. We then connected it to Carrefour's clean room. And out of those exposed people that we ended up finding, we rebuilt afterwards uh, a, a control group, which was as comparable as we could to the test group. Based on that, we estimated an uplift. So I know it's not perfect, um, obviously, uh, I'm not saying it's the perfect way to measure. Uh, I'm sure if my friend Rick Bruner's in the room, he will say, well, this is nice, but this is not number one uh, randomized control trial. Uh, that's right. That's absolutely right. But it's number two. So it's statistically modeled comparison group. So it's not perfect, but we, didn't, we couldn't do uh, 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 anything else that time. But we'll be back with more. And the third approach, obviously, would have been uh, attributions, which we didn't do here. OK, um, then uh, talking about um, more clarity, maybe here, deep diving into, into the clean room. Um, so we store, obviously, the interactions with DV360, with Facebook, with Snapchat. We track it. We store it in the CDP. We, we connect it to, uh, to Carrefour's clean room. We end up with 1.7 million active card holders, so loyalty card holders. We, uh, we uh, find 9.3 million impressions on those people, which accounts for 6% of the total impressions uh, in that campaign. And um, we then can estimate uh, the uplift with a 10% uplift on uh, the ingenue products revenue, uh, 1.5 ROI, uh, which is not crazy uh, figure. It's, it's nice, it's great, but it's not, it's not crazy. And 3.6 ROI on overall T4 products, taking into account some kind of halo effect. So how to be better? at this. Obviously, we can. Um, and, and next time, uh, I promise, Rick, that we'll make everything we can to improve uh, this experimentation or this, this uh, estimation with Group Seb by testing out an even better protocol with, uh, with an RCT with GoStats. And with that, I think we could open it for questions, or maybe Stefania want to comment on this. No, no, uh, we, we were quite excited, uh, uh, as I told in, uh, in the introduction. Um, for us, we, we, we moved from uh, something where we was quite blind uh, with, the, with the data uh, on sales or impact on sales to something which, which is a start. I agree with you. That's not the, the finalized, uh, uh, optimi optimized, optimized uh, uh, way to, to calculate the, the error, but that's something which is pretty cool already. Uh, and that's something which is not uh, an estimation or a probabilistic model. That's really uh, some uh, measurement. And uh, I, I think that's a, a, a very good start. And uh, yeah, we know we, we, we have some next step uh, which are quite exciting. Mm -hmm.